Hello. Welcome back to Rad System Studio List Field Properties. My name is Tuzik. In today's episode of List Field Properties, we will learn how to enable sortable fields and also how to attach a link to a field. Let's get started. We will start with the sortable field. To enable it, click in a table with the field of choice. Select List Page. Now click on the field. At the Field Display Properties, click Sortable. From the Input Fields option, select True. Click Publish button, then Preview in the browser. Now we can see a sortable arrow indicator on the Name Field Table header. Click the Name Field Table header. As we can see, our table is sorted by the Name Field in descending order. You can click on it again to change the order format from descending to ascending. With the knowledge gained, we can configure other fields to make them sortable. The next property we will learn in this tutorial is Field Link. This property allows us to attach a link to a field. Let's get it done. Select Field of Choice and then click the Field Link from the Field Properties. The options provided are divided into two segments. The first segment is preset links that we can apply, depending on the value of the field. The second segment is a list of pages in our project, which we can link to. Let's start, I'm going to select the first option, which is Link Field to Current Record Details. This option is helpful, especially when we disable the View button. Let's publish and preview. Now, when clicked on the Names Field record, it linked us to the Record Details page, also known as the View page. The second option from the Field Link property is the Current Field category. For better understanding, let's use the Gender field. Click on the Field Link, select the Current Field category option. Let's publish the project and then preview it in the browser. When we click on the gender field record, it filters the record of the current page with the gender value of the field we select. As you can see, I'm using male as an example. Now let's click on female record, observed what happened. The next property is the current field file. This property becomes useful when we have a file path on our field. For example, PDF files, zip files, and the rest. The next property is the current field value search. We will discuss this property later, so you don't have to worry about it. The next property is current field mail too. Let's use the email field to demonstrate this. Click on the email field. Select the current field mail too. Publish the project and then preview in the browser. So now, when we click on the email field record, it triggers an email session to the email field value, that's smart. We can do the same for the phone field. Click on the phone field, then click in the field link property. Select current field tell to. Publish the project and preview in the browser. Observe, when we click on the phone field record, it's triggers call session to phone field value. Moving to the second segment of the field link option, click on any field of our choice. I'm going to use the name field, click on the field link property. Select from any options in the second segment. I'm going to choose Demography to add page. Let's publish preview it on the browser. Once clicked, it links to the Demography Add page, which is clean. We can also pass data from the List page to the Add page. This is the code snippet you need to achieve it. First, we query the name field on the add page. Then we set the value to be equal to a variable of the name field data. 
let's check it out and see. Now, when we click on the name field record, it links to the ad page, and also passes the value of the name field we clicked. That's cool. Now we have learned how to enable sortable fields and also how to attach a link to a field record. Please subscribe to our channel and enable the notification bell icon to get notified when we post a new video tutorial. Thank you.